Now, when I say zombie, what's the first thing that pops into your head? Is it something like this? What if I said a biological fungus that could take over your body? Now if you're a gamer, you might think of something like this. Peace out! Check it here. Now, when you look at those two videos, you'd probably think they're just random clips with no grounds in reality. What if I told you something similar to this actually happens in nature? They are called cordyceps. It is an endoparasitoid fungus, which means that the parasite spends most of its time living inside or attached to a host. Now, although cordyceps all live and produce the same way, there are actually hundreds of types of cordyceps because each fungi can only infect one type of insect. The specific cordyceps I chose to research is Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. This cordyceps infects ants of the Camponotini tribe. An ant can become infected by having a single spore land on its outer body or by ingesting food that is contaminated with the spore. Once the spore infiltrates the ant, it begins to germinate to form a network of vegetative mass known as a mycelium. The mycelium creates hundreds of branches known as hyphae, which invade the ant's body and head. While the fungus starts taking over the ant, two things start happening. One, the ant's behavioral patterns start to change, and in some cases, other ants realize that it is infected and take it away from the colony to ensure safety. Now the second thing that will happen to the ant is that it will be digested from the inside, except for major organs so the fungus can grow but still control the ant. After those two steps, the ant, being controlled by the fungus, will leave the safety of the colony to find high ground with light and proper temperature. The final step, the chomp of death. The chomp of death is when the fungus forces the ant to take one last bite into a leaf, locking its jaw and waiting for it to die of starvation. Now with the ant dead, the fungus is free to grow out its stem and release its spores, beginning the process anew. Also, if the ant wasn't taken by the workers, the spores may be close enough to kill hundreds of ants, even spreading throughout the whole colony. Thanks, Pisos. Shake out.